Thank you, Andrew. Uh, so Guy Green, Honorary Ambassador for the uh, Tasmania's Antarctic Sector, distinguished guests, SUS delegates, ladies and gentlemen. My name's John Brennan. I'm the chair of the Tasmanian Polar Network. And it is indeed a pleasure for me to make you feel welcome here in Hobart, Tasmania. I'd like to start by congratulating SUS for coordinating this event in Hobart in this wonderful IMAS building. This building is uh, a very new building and uh, it's a very valued asset to the waterfront of Tasmania and it's a statement that uh, Antarctic and Southern Ocean and related science is certainly here to stay and certainly here to grow, um, not only in a localised context but to draw people in from all around the world to share, collaborate and communicate the importance of, of the sector and the science that underpins it. I'd like to also recognise you, the delegates. Um, you come from at least a dozen countries. Um, that's what I've been told. Um, excuse me if I'm not um, that accurate. But uh, it takes time and money and effort to come to this part of the world. And um, we've made sure that, um, you know, we're in winter, so we've turned on shorter days and uh, there's a bit of snow up on the mountain and um, I do hope that you enjoy your stay here. I'd like to um, just briefly mention some background to part of the sponsorship arrangement. Um, this evening's uh, refreshments have been supported by the Tasmanian Polar Network and also the uh, State Department, the, the Department of State Growth through their Antarctic Tasmania and Science section. I do apologise for not being able to stay with you um, later on to indulge in some of the refreshments. That just means there'll be more for you. So who are the Tasmanian Polar Network? Um, well, we're the peak industry body and we represent the interests of the Antarctic and marine science research, education, logistics and commercial activities that occur here in Tasmania particularly out of the port of Hobart. And the TPN, as we're known, uh, we, we work in partnership with the state government. We have a, a very good arrangement, working arrangement with the state government. So we're always working together. Um, and our mission is to grow, um, is to grow this sector. And in growing this sector, our vision is to be a hub of excellence for science, um, and logistics activities that are carried forward into the Antarctic and Southern Ocean sector. And we do enjoy supporting events such as um, this workshop. It's, it's a good way of getting to know people. It's a good way of uh, informally um, addressing any issues that you might have or some collaboration that needs to be undertaken. And the TPN also recognises the importance of SUS. We have a number of jewels in our crown, uh, the, the crown being the Antarctic and Southern Ocean Science Research Sector, and SUS is one of those jewels in our crown. So from an industry point of view, we are adamant that SUS is supported as much as it can be um, for now and into the future and here in Tasmania. So I'll be, as, a, as the chair of the peak industry body, I'll be standing behind as much support as we can provide to SUS for now and into the future. We are, um, although I, I dare not and I would not speak on behalf of the state government, um, we are fortunate to have um, a collaborative approach from state government um, and, and it doesn't matter who's in power at the time. It seems People seem to drop their they drop their arms, their political arms, when it comes to the Antarctic Southern Ocean sector. There's differing views, but generally speaking, um, I know from experience and um, from 30 years of state government involvement with industry in the Antarctic and Southern Ocean sector, it has enjoyed an enduring um, cooperation and um, we hope to enjoy that into the future. So ladies and gentlemen, I won't keep you from your workshop any longer, but please have a successful workshop. Please um, enjoy the time that you have here in Hobart, Tasmania, the gateway to East Antarctica, and um, keep up the great work. Keep motivated, 
um, at times funding um, and insecurity around those sorts of things and maybe certain political comments, whether they be domestic or international, um, may provide some unease to us. Um, I have a science background, but I work in small industry um, and some of my tasks are not even related to anything um, in, in this sector, but we must remain positive that people will embrace overall the good work that you're doing and it is meaningful and it's meaningful on a global scale um, not on a local scale although it boils down to um, local scale at the end of the day so please enjoy your time and thank you very much